Anthony, there's a question on the chat. Uh, will there be will there be remedy for all of us, uh, for everyone, relief and rem remedy before you, uh, what you say, leaving the uh, scene, so to speak, on December 21st this year? I promise that by December 21st, all the deeds and trusts of every community on the planet will be in place. The canons of law will have been finished. The codes of law that underpin the charters, which are also deeds, most of those should be in place. The full currency system will be in place and operational in those communities. And that the courts will be available and that the remedies will be there. Uh, can I guarantee that everyone will have remedy? I can't. I mean, I can't guarantee that. That's that saying that everyone will live a long life or everyone will will be safe. I can't guarantee that. But what I do guarantee is that as, as humanly possible, with the mountain of work still to be done, all those things I've promised will be in place. And then it will be entirely up to each and every one of you and those that listen to this call and those that don't even know this exists yet, to, yet to come. It'll be up to all of you, all of them, and all to come to make this work. But my, my the reason that I am stepping away is not um, being tired. I'm tired every day. Um, it's not that I've lost interest. I'm far from lost interest. It's that, it's that, that if I stay, then I become a detriment to the competency of this. And if I stay, every day that I stay, it remains something of Frank rather than something of you. So the only way to guarantee the success that you want is for me to step away, and that's why. Okay, great. Th thank you, Frank, for that. A question again on uh, from chat. Who then is Eucadia Book Ctyl TV Limited? Are the official temporary administrators of One Spirit Tribe and One Spirit Tribe dot org? Yep. That is, that is a company that I, I set up in order to set up the websites, in order to survive, to feed myself, and to be independent from any patron, corporation, or special interest. Uh, I've earned my own money. I've paid my own bills. Uh, I've p paid for all the websites. I've done my own HTML. Um, I've done that, uh, and that is what... UK to PTY LTD is. So come December 21, uh, UK to PTY LTD has nothing to do with UK to or any of the institutions established or owning any websites. Okay? Okay, great. We have one caller here on the phone line, East, uh, the East Pennsylvania. East Pennsylvania? Sego, Scatagoda. Um, Hello. Um, how you doing? Just doing well. Um, just right. Uh, right. Yes. Uh, at age 15, I was emancipated. The courts in the state of Pennsylvania deal with me a little bit differently than they, the average person. Um, when I when I was emancipated at age 15, did I already do what you what you're doing? That's just a question. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what they did, and and it's a it's a bit of a. I'm not that kind of a psychic ability. I can't really tell you what they did. Uh, I don't know what they did. Um, you've just said that you were emancipated at the age 15 in Pennsylvania, um, and of course the state of Pennsylvania has now the most powerful court in the world, the King's Bench. So um, I, I can't answer your question. I don't know. Did you separate yourself, or you want to explain? Uh, what well, what happened was, uh, I met my 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 family life broke down, and um, for two years I took care of myself within within the confines of my father's house. But it, at the end of that, there was no I took care of myself, and at that point I filed emancipation, the writ of emancipation. Yep. yep. Um, from there, the state accepted it, and actually, I think I'm the only one which has ever done it. I just found it 
um, my earlier life, we were uh, we uh, cleaned up a, a water system called the Schuylkill. Yep. And, yep. Brought, and brought it back to life, and so I, I spent most of my early life in courts. So that's how I learned about the writ. And actually, uh, I, I had a few people come to me and tell me about it. That, you know, you could do this, and I and I filed it, and it, it, it they just let me. After that, I was considered an adult, taking care of myself. So I'm not quite sure because different things have uh, came came to me, and uh, they've they've dealt with me differently than they have dealt well, with it could, could, it could well be, and sorry to interrupt, but it could well be that that you have look as I, I said earlier in the call, and I do say this pretty much every time. I'm not the center of all knowledge, nor can can anything we're doing be regarded as the one and only true way to do something. It's not. I mean, claims of right have been around for a long, long time. We've adopted a certain path based on what has been written, and it could well be that what you're sharing with us tonight is another example of a form of remedy, just as I've heard from others about a fellow called Big Al, who has done quite a bit of work over time who appears to have obtained some form of remedy. So, look, I really appreciate you doing that. If you want to email, you know, my email is easy to get. Um, it's always good to share. University.ukadia.info is a great place to, to help other people. It's up to you. If you want to share your experience, I strongly suggest that we take this call offline and, and please blog and, and share your experience online. It could help a lot of people, yeah? Okay, right now I am not currently online. Um, All right. Well, we, I'll leave it up to you. But uh, I, given your sort of sharing information at the moment, rather than questions, right. what I just say, say is, if you do get around to it, uh, if you feel inclined, um, there are a lot of people who find that there are more than one way, a very useful way of then determining what they should do. And it sounds as if your knowledge and experience at an early age could be something that people find really interesting. So I encourage, I've given you the website. If you get onto it, have a look, log on, and yeah, please share your background. It'd be great. Good on as you. Can, as, Thank soon you. As, I get, as soon as I can get somewhere and, and um, find a responsible person to let me use their um, computer, I'll do that. Um, All right. another, one other thing. Uh, at 15, I, I entered, well, I actually, we actually created a commune where we used... Right. Barter sovereigns is what we called our money. Yep. Okay. Um, and it was based on hours worked. Yep. Okay. That's that. I just wanted to share that with everybody. That that's you know if we're going to go that way. And well, yeah. And just if I can just add to that, and thanks again for sharing your your personal experience. Right now, there are literally thousands. I mean, it sounds crazy to think of in thousands, but there are now literally thousands of barter-like systems around the world uh, that are in place and are having varying degrees of success, but in almost all cases, some success. What, what's missing is that that is not connected to an architecture that respects the variety of ways and there is not the uh, structure that, that sustains it against the parasites and their now obsession in gold. So um, I think that's something why we want to talk later on but look, thanks for sharing that with us, and um, we'll take anything else from you offline. When you get on, please share any more through university.uk.info. Thanks again. It might be a while, but I'm on. That's honored. right. That's fine. Thank you, my brother. Okay. Good on you. Hi, Terry. My list. You there, Terry? Uh, uh, yes, I'm here. Hi. Sorry. Uh, um, yeah. Well, thank you, everyone. Um, yeah, we you can join us next week by phone, as well. Uh, Thursday night, 9 p.m. on Talk to You Again. That's for the University of Acadia introductory call. And uh, Frank, did you have any other uh, things you want to wrap up with tonight? No, I just want to thank you again, Terry. I mean, you do a superb job in hosting. I really thank everyone for their questions. I thank everyone coming onto the call. Uh, and I look forward to continuing to share with you and working together with you 
uh, and really handing these things over to you. Um, so again, thanks again, Terry. Thanks again to yes. all of you who've been on. Well, thank you, Frank, for joining us tonight and for being here and for sharing with us and answering the questions and uh, it's a good time tonight. So we'll see everyone next week, and that should wrap it up for tonight. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Good night. Good day, Frank.